So Dr. Langman was one of uh, Burr's students, and he did this interesting experiment. He just said, let's see what happens if he examined cellular diagnosed cases of cancer under blind conditions. This is a good study. Uh, the pathologist and Langman did not know who was who. Okay? And so what they did is they actually used a voltmeter to measure the polarity of the tumor. So these are women who had cervical cancer. So they would just go inside, put one lead right on the tumor, and lo and behold, what they found was women with no evidence of cervical malignancy, 95% their polarity was positive. But those with cancer, the polarity was 96% negative. It switched. So they began to say, well, there's got to be something about this. And he goes on and he says, if you just remove the tumor, then the cervix polarity switches again. And it's just amazing. So I, I just, those are the actual numbers of his, uh, so it's a fairly decent size N for his study. Um, but, you know, where does that go? What do people do with it? Well, it's been around since, uh, since Langman's work. Um, and Dr. Can uh, Callahan has done a lot of work with cancer patients. Um, we don't say that we cure cancer because we're not doctors. Um, Roger um, has had a fair amount of experience in helping people with cancer and finds that the polarity is an essential element here. Same thing with uh, Dr. Schulman and a bunch of folks that have learned TFT have found this to be true.